Hallelujah, glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an honor for me to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. God is saying that there's about to be a shocking transformation in your life. There's about to be a mighty transformation in your life and it will shock everyone. People would not be able to reconcile the you they, they saw yesterday and the you that is appearing today. There's about to be a mind-blowing transformation. You might be asking yourself, how would these things be? You're trying to use logic. You're trying to um, tell yourself, is one, if 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, then, then 3 plus 3 is going to be 6. No. You know, the ways of God are not the ways of man. The Bible says, as the, earth, as the heavens are far from the earth, so are his ways from our ways. So this might not actually happen the way you're thinking is going to happen. God is going to orchestrate a circumstance. God is going to orchestrate an event that would change everything forever. Whenever I receive such a word or such a message, I just think of one thing. I think of the four lepers. The Bible says the land was going through a, a mighty famine and the prophet of God came and prophesied and said, by this same time tomorrow, there's going to be abundance. By this same time tomorrow, there will be so much abundance that that a shekel of a, 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 a barrel of corn will be sold for a shekel. How is that possible? How is that? Sometimes don't doubt the, 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 the soldier who was standing there and said, this is not possible. Even if God were to open the windows of heaven, this is not going to happen. It's not a possibility. You see, walking with God, you do not need logic. Walking with God, you do not have to be logical. You do not have to want to um, try to figure things out and say, no, because this is not possible. This one too is not possible, no. God is a mystery. I was telling someone yesterday, I said, God is a mystery. There is no searching of his understanding. The things God can do. And literally, someone you are watching me and your life will change drastically just within the twinkle of an eye. You are going to sleep and wake up as another man. Ask Solomon, he'll tell you, Solomon went to bed as a normal man who had taken over kingship. But he woke up as the richest man who has ever lived and as the wisest man that has ever lived. He slept as one man and woke up as the other. Those lepers, who would have ever imagined that they were going to be so rich? So rich. Who would have ever imagined that the same people who were banished, ostracized, would be the one to bring redemption to the people? Who would have ever imagined? Whenever God gives you this prophetic word, instead for you to start thinking about it, trying to figure things out, instead of you trying to put one or two together, the best thing for you to do is just to position yourself and say, Lord, I believe you. I know there is nothing too hard for you. I know that with man, this word I have heard right now is impossible. But with you, God, nothing shall be impossible. I believe this word. I connect myself to it. And I walk in the manifestation of prophecy in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that... I don't know the number of people you are talking to, but Lord, I pray that you, you will count me in the number. You're going to count me in the number. In the name of Jesus, it is just for you to position yourself. God says there's about to be a transformation. It will be so shocking that even the people around, even the people who know you, they will look at you and they will ask you what happened to you. This is drastic. This just, imagine those four lepers coming back as millionaires. To tell the people there is enough, you guys can equally come and have some. There is enough where we where we got our riches, there is enough. You too can come and be a partaker of what the Lord has done. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. You are going to experience that. You are going to experience that transformation. You might sleep as a single. 
and wake up tomorrow and encounter someone and in the next one month you're getting married. You might sleep as unemployed and wake up the next day to receive a mail that is scheduling you for an interview somewhere and you just go there and have an employment. You might go to bed childless and people have even laughed at you and called you barren. But you wake up the next morning, God has already blessed you with the seed in your womb. You might go to bed sick. That kind of sickness that makes you feel like this is hopeless. The sickness that people are already praying and interceding for your soul. But you wake up in the morning healed completely and people are looking at you like, what is going on? How come you are recovering from this? What is happening? I pray for you. That is watching me. May you encounter this transformation in the mighty name of Jesus. May you encounter, may you not just hear this as stories. May you not just hear this as tales that were written in the Bible. May you equally testify that your life changed drastically and suddenly and that the people were around you could not even believe your testimony. There's a kind of testimony you give and people are like, nah, you're exaggerating. This is not true. There are some testimonies you share and people are like, nah, tell us the truth. Tell us the real deal. Tell us what you did because what you're saying right now is too good to be true. I pray that you're going to have one of such testimonies in this season. There will be a transformation in your life that the people who used to know you don't look at you and say, is this you? Is this happening? Oh, la Shayanama, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to distract you by praying in tongues, but I feel that in my spirit. I feel it so strong. Someone, just by making contact with this prophetic word, as you connect yourself, you're making contact with the anointing of God that is going to catapult you. There's going to be a sudden transformation that everyone who sees you will ask, what happened? What is this? In the mighty name of Jesus. Did you receive this word with gladness? If you did, I pray that the Lord will bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you, that he will be gracious to you and give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Please write in the comment section and tell me if this word resonates with you. Maybe this word is coming to give you a confirmation of what God has told you. Maybe you saw it in a vision, you saw it in a dream, and you were asking yourself, is this God? Did I hear God right? Is this my mind playing tricks with me? I just want to hear how the word resonates with you. And I can't wait to share your testimony. Please promise that you're going to share your testimony when the time comes. When that drastic transformation happens, you're going to be kind enough, kind enough to share your testimony. You're going to be kind enough, to, enough to tell us how God did your own. Hallelujah. I am looking forward to that. You can always go to my, my, um, my bow, bow to get... Um, my um, email details and you can always email me and tell me what God has done. I am looking forward to reading your testimony. God bless you.